So you're in the process of doing a brake pad replacement and you're either having a hard time compressing the caliper piston back into the caliper or you manage to get the pistons compressed in but then the first time you put your foot down on the brake pedal your wheels lock up. These are all symptoms of a caliper piston that has corrosion and the only way to fix it is to rebuild the caliper. So here's the caliper that we pulled off a Mitsubishi 3000 GT. It looks pretty beat up and we're gonna rebuild it by replacing the dust boot and the oil seal inside the caliper piston. We're gonna wire brush all this off, remove the pistons, make sure they're not pitted. And then on the caliper bracket side, we're gonna be removing the dust boots here, pin boot, and then we'll put some solvent like brake clean with a wire brush and clean this out and then re-grease it. So what are we trying to achieve? Well, we already did it on this side. Now we just have to put in the new seals and the dust boot. Here's the dust boot for the pistons. These are retention clips so that the boot doesn't come off the caliper. And this is that seal for the caliper pistons. So using compressed air, we're gonna push these pistons out. So we don't want it to go flying out, so we'll put a block of wood right here. Then we're going to use compressed air around 100 PSI. And we'll put it right here in the bleed opening. And then just apply, see? There we go. So we've got the piston partially out. All right, now it's going to go flying out. Now we're going to take this boot off. Okay, there's a metal clip in here we got to take out. We got to coax it out. There it is. And the piston seals right here. There we go. So these are the three components that are normally replaced in rebuilding a caliper. As long as there's no rust buildup, there's no pitting, then the piston can be reused. So let's clean this up a little bit. So it's in pretty good shape. The interior though is pretty rusty, so we'll try to clean that up as best we could. So to get this second piston out with air pressure, we'll put the original piston back in here. We'll put the block of wood just to block this piston, and then with the air pressure we'll be able to push this piston out. Okay, an easy way to get the corrosion out of the grooves is to use a pick tool and try to break the corrosion free. First step was to get this seal in. There's one. Put a little dielectric grease on here.
Yeah, it's straightening out. Okay, now it's in. I just basically squeeze it in. See? I pinch this. Just get it in here like that. I use my pry tool to make sure that the seal is seated inside the groove consistently all the way around. The dielectric grease reduces the friction so that it will seat in there better. Now comes the seal retention ring. So this is the rubber bushing that goes to the end of the caliper pen, and this is the new one. So we're going to use brake caliper grease. This one happens to be synthetic. Just lube the holes a little bit. This side right here, not this side, is what pops in. Then at this point, you apply a little bit of grease. This caliper mounts onto this caliper bracket, so this is identified with an L. So it will go on like this. The caliper bracket holes have been lubricated. Now we could push the dust boots in. This L bolt has a rubber bushing at the end here, which we just recently replaced. So this will go on like so. So this whole assembly is ready for new pads. And we're done.